All right, so we kind of we kind of got into this video in the last one. We we cheated a little bit. Um, we said, oh, after one year, it's thirty five dollars. So in multiple years, we just multiply that by six. Well, that's exactly what this video is about: simple interest over time. It's almost the same interest. It's almost the same formula, but now we're multiplying the interest rate by how many years or how many months, depending on the context. We're doing it. So we just multiplied by six. That's what this T has to do with. You just multiply that interest rate by six. Okay, so let's get into things right now. So very similar formulas. If you have one year, right, if T equals one or one payment period, then this is exactly the same formula as the last video. But sometimes it's going to be new ones uh, because there will be multiple years like six years, like we just did. So there's a small note here, right? The units of measurement, so a lot of times I say years, but sometimes it's months, and sometimes it can be other pay periods. The units of measurement for the time should match the time period for the interest rate. So looking down here at 7.2, we're looking at an annual interest rate. Make sure that 10 years and this, make sure that these match right here, okay? That's very important. If it gave you an annual interest rate and then it asked for something in months, you'd have to convert one of these two things, okay? So watch out for that. So 7.2 says, Uncle Moneybags deposits $300. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, deposits $300 in an account earning 5% annual interest rate. How much will Uncle Moneybags have in the account in 10 years? And again, usually we use something called compound interest for this, but simple interest gives us a good idea about just a quick calculation to figure out what it's going to be. So let's identify what we have. Let's identify the question. How much will he have in the account? What is his end amount going to be? That's A. So we want to know what A is. We're going to use this A formula. So let's write down that A formula on our piece of paper because that's what we're looking at here. So the amount is equal to the principal times one plus the interest rate times the time. And again, make sure that R and T have the same units of time. In this case, they're both annual. That's important. Well, now we just try to fill in the blanks. What is our principal? What is the initial amount being deposited or loaned? $300. $300 is our principal. So we go back over here. We fill in the blank. P naught is $300 times 1 plus R. We need our interest rate. 5% convert it to a decimal. 5% move the decimal over two places. That's going to be 0.05. Fill that in times time. And again, we, whenever we do time, make sure that the time, 10 years, the interest rate is also in years. Annual means every year. Okay, so time is going to be 10. And now we have this. We can plug it into a formula, plug it into a calculator, and I highly recommend doing it all at once which is going to be messy in some later videos. So I'm going to give kind of an example right here. So I am going to use Desmos and I have Desmos linked in the canvas module. So go to the bottom of this module. There's a link to Desmos or you can just type in Desmos, D-E-S-M-O-S, -S, and Google will take you there. Probably other search engines will too. And remember that you can just type things into this um, like so. So if I want to type in what we have right here, I'm going to type in 300 parentheses 1 plus 0 0.05 times 10. That's the asterisk shift 8 asterisk times 10 end parentheses. So notice compare what I've typed in on my computer with what I've written down. It should look the same. And then Desmos will give you your answer. And this can be another way to use a calculator. 
Um, this is my preferred way of using a calculator. I do not like handheld calculators. I do not even own a handheld calculator. And I'm not a big fan of the calculator on my phone either. Um, so I like using websites like Desmos or oftentimes I'll actually type it into Google. <laughs> Google will also work. But this is a little bit easier for a lot of people. So we're going to be using Desmos with uh, this week and next week for our calculator. And anyway, it says 450. So the total amount in the account after 10 years with the simple interest formula is $450. And that's what we were asked to find. How much Uncle Moneybags will have in the account after 10 years. Let's do another example for central, simple interest over time. Example 7.3 says, now we've got a loan company, and this loan company is charging $30 of interest for a one-month loan of $500. So you have a loan for only $500, you're going to pay $30 of interest. And the question is, find the annual interest rate. So be very careful here. Okay, annual interest rate. This is $30 of interest for one month. So how much interest is it going to be for a year? All right, we want the annual interest rate. So we have to approach this in a few logical steps. All right, it's $30 for a month. So how many dollars would it be for a year? Now, we're not doing it for a year. This is a one-month loan. But we're asking about how much would it be for a year, hypothetically. Like, what is that annual interest rate? Well, if it's $30 for a month, there are 12 months in a year. That's going to be 30 times 12 equals, it would be $360 per year. For a $500 loan, $360 in the year. What's that interest rate? Let's use the formula. We're looking about interest rate. Interest rate for one year. Okay. Well, the formula says I equals P naught RT. Copy that down. This one right here. I equals P naught times RT. So the total interest is I. We said that total interest for a year is $360. The principal is what is the loan for? We said the loan was for $500. The annual interest rate is what we're looking for. T is how many years? Again, this is the annual interest rate, so T has to be years. If this were monthly interest rate, T would be in months. But it's just one. So we just solve this equation for R. If we divide both sides by 500, then R is all by itself. And we're going to get the R equals 360 divided by 500. So you can go over here, you can erase this, type in 360. Use um, forward slash, that slash button on your keyboard, and that automatically makes it go into a fraction. And you get that 360 divided by 500 is 0.72. So that's our R, 0.72, or a 72% annual interest rate. That's a lot of interest. <laughs> There's a lot of interest. You don't really want many things with a 72% annual interest rate, unless you're the one loaning out the money, maybe. And it's not to somebody you like very much. Or maybe, anyway, big interest rate. All right? Good luck.